Summer 2015, Jacksons are proud to present our exhibition, Nordic Modernism. This explores early functionalistic trends in Scandinavia, starting with the Stockholm Exhibition 1930, which was a very important turning point for design in Scandinavia. So, I mean, what is very interesting is that the pieces from the 30s and from the different Scandinavian countries really show the different approaches. We have a table from Otto Feger, the Danish cabinet maker, and this piece actually is really the start of the organic design that developed into the 1940s. We also have a very special desk from the Danish designer Morgan's Cock. It's a combination of oak and pig leather and also brass screws that are elements of the design. This set of furniture was designed by York. He was commissioned to design the interior, complete interior of a bakery, which was positioned very close to where the Stockholm exhibition was held in 1930. What's particularly interesting is that the tubular steel on this set is much smaller than the, the Tournay counterparts, and this gives a much more elegant feel to the designs. The solution that York found with this door is particularly playful. Here you can see where the base just hops over it. Um, you chose horsehair to cover these doors, which was an expensive material, hard wearing, but it was a really wonderful contrast to the tubular steel. We also have pieces made in pine from the same period that, in a sense, relate back to traditional Swedish pine furniture, but was designed in a more modern form. Uh, we have a pair of stores, which are very, very modern in their look, a table and a bench. We also have a um, unique desk by Sven Markelius, his own desk, uh, which is made in Macassar, Ebony. Um, in many ways it has um, similarities to Mies van der Rohe's pieces, but it's also characteristic of his own design. We have a number of lamps from Paul Henningsen, rare examples from the 1930s and a tennis lamp, a large ten industrial tennis lamp that was commissioned for a tennis hall which he designed alongside a tennis player. This is an interesting table designed by Otto Rettling in 1935 and painted in 1936. It's designed so you can have it open as, uh, either as a long coffee table and can change the height so you can choose between coffee table, console table and even dining table. Apart from furniture and lighting, we have some glass and ceramic pieces. There's a group of vases by the artist Eva Dahlskog that are actually designed for the Stockholm Exhibition 1930. Uh, William Corger was an important ceramic designer that started the Gustavsbury Studio. This was a series that he produced in 1940. By taking vases and cutting them in half and joining them back together again, he found these surrealistic forms. Uh, they were launched at an exhibition, a wonderful exhibition at Nordiska Company at the main department store in Stockholm called Chaos in the Oven. 